basically it. If anybody has any questions, y'all let me know. I'm gonna, I was going to share like what Coach Accountable looks like. And you look, uh, Jeff, when you live in California, there are definitely poorly managed facility, facilities in California. You have to find where they are. It is not easy to find a mismanaged facility. All right. Uh, so you're going to have to, you're going to have to learn how to find those is what you're going to have to do, but they're definitely out there. And if you can't, and the, but the question is for California, can you afford to buy something in California? All right, because it's going to be expensive. So my question is to you, do you have access to money or do you have money? If you don't have money or have very little money, don't have access to money, then you need to be going out of California. I get it. I have a couple of students in California and they're all out looking outside of California. I have one that was, they're, they're originally from Missouri. So they just focused on Missouri and another one is focusing on like the outskirts of California towards Nevada in the Nevada area, okay? But if you have money, you can find deals in California. You just have to have money, all right? And then also, if you have any other questions, let me know. Have you built from the ground up? We are in the process of working on a new construction facility right now. It's our very first one. And um, we're working on that right now. Uh, but the goal is to start building once the prices go down. Honestly, metal prices are so, so expensive right now. You should not be building unless you already have that contract. The metal, you know, from previous, if you have a contract and you can build and it's good, but like we're getting quotes on metal prices and the guy's saying like, it's going up and up and up, but by the end of the year should be going down, right? So our goal is by the end of the year to start really building more and more facilities. Why? Because there is a need for facilities. There's a need for facilities. If you can afford it, and if you have time for it, and if you have a stomach for it, and if you can come up with the money to do all the upfront costs, right, then uh, you should definitely be considering new construction. This is something that we go over very heavily in the group, right? We have right now a development and conversions academy that we're doing as well, too, where we're learning how to do developments. Um, so we go over this like very heavily in the group. Let me see. I was going to show y'all too. Uh, if I locate an on-market income producing property, should it be avoided or is it just difficult to build a deal? No, if you can get a good deal for income producing, you just have to, you have to learn how to run the numbers and you have to buy it at the right cap rate. That's the issue. Okay. That's the issue. All right. Learn to run the numbers. The hardest part about self-storage or investing in commercial properties is knowing whether or not you're buying a deal, a good deal. I had a guy that he did like a consultation with me. Um, Man, I feel so bad for this guy. He bought a facility for $1.4 million. He'd owned it for three years. He thought it was worth 1.7. He had no idea how to run the numbers. No idea. He just bought it. And then he, he, we ran the numbers and we found out that it was worth $1.2 million. Could you imagine? He thought it was worth 1.7 and it came out to 1.2. I told him, I was like, you're going to have to hold on to the sucker for a long, long time. And he said they're barely breaking even every single month. They're just not making any money. Can you imagine not making any money on a $1.4 million facility every month for three years? How much stress is that? Woo! Learn how to run the numbers. Be smart, right? Be smart. I was gonna show y'all real fast. I wanted to show y'all too what it looks like in Coach Accountable. Uh, Coach Accountable is the, uh, the, 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 the coaching software that we use to manage the coaching program. And I wanted to share that with y'all. Now, if y'all get on the call with me, if y'all book a call with me, I'll, I'll go in depth in this, but I kind of wanted to show y'all what it looks like. Um, so here is the, uh, like, this is where you're going to find the files. This is like a, this is like a stream, but I wanted to show y'all all the files get you get access to. As soon as you join, you get access to like 
auction process, uh, you know, videos. Uh, here's a video on the auction process, how we manage it. The, here's like how to um, how to handle abandoned vehicles. This is kind of the stuff that we get into as we go through the coaching program and all the things that we talk about as well too, okay? The stages of the auction, videos. Um, we've got contracts, business plans, change of ownership letter, direct mail. Uh, like this is what you're gonna mail out, letters, examples of letters to mail out, how to fill out your contract video. Here's a, uh, the Georgia contract. If you want the tennis uh, contract, how to find storage facilities. This is just in Coach Accountable. This is where we hold all of our files, okay? How to find private lenders insurance templates, late letters, um, you know, lease agreements, letters to owners, letters to sellers, master contact sheet, new member orientation. Here's our deal analyzers, offer templates, foreclosure, you know, all, like how to handle foreclosures, um, auction letters, you know, so I'm just giving you kind of an idea of like the population, how we look at population in towns lenders, private money, how to find private money, um, ROI mu stuff, and then uh, SBA information, just anything and everything that you can think of, virtual, no how to do virtual negotiations, this kind of stuff, right? This is part of the coaching program is the Coach Accountable, where you get to get access to all those documents as well too. Like this is just like free, you know? So everybody's always like, hey, Stacy, do you have this? And it's like, yes, yeah, just go to Coach Countable, right? Anything that you can think of how to run your, uh, run your business, we have that for you, okay? Um, okay, finally, last question. What is the app optimum, optimum size and price range of a mom pop? There's no optimum size. It's all income-based. It's all income-based. All right, it's, it's income base versus how much money that you can come up with because your lender terms are going to determine what the value, what, how much money you're actually gonna make. If you're paying 10% interest or you're paying 4% interest, it's a totally different deal. So, I mean, people ask me all the time, how do you number, what number's good? How much are you gonna make? It's like every deal is completely, completely um, different. Every deal is completely different. Okay, I can't give you a number. Learn how to run your numbers. That's what you got to do.